raspberries, black currants, orange puree in beer? I have to go check this out. Small scale craft breweries are popping up all over Canada to help satisfy our thirst for locally brewed beer. I'm Angela Bell and I'm drinking my way across Canada one craft brewery at a time. I'm looking for real folks that are making real beer. This is Crafted in Canada. I'm in Quinney West, home of Canada's largest Air Force Base, Eight Wing Trenton. This area is rich in military history and Canadiana, and we all know that Canadians love great beer. Trenton's Wild Card Brewing Company is making their name in the craft beer world by brewing some tasty beers using locally grown ingredients. Having that local that local side of things, it really, I think, comes across in the beer. It's our way, way to get sort of like a terroir into the, into the beer, um, which allows it to be more of like a personalized, localized beer. This is Nate Card. Nate and his brother Zach opened Wild Card Brewing here in Quinney West in 2015. It's a family business in every sense of the word, right down to the inspiration from their parents. My dad was always a, a craft beer drinker, I think without knowing he was. My mom went through cooking school. She was the type of woman that uh, would would do, you know, full day's work and then come home and make this like a ridiculously extravagant dinner each night. That's where we started to develop like what flavors work, you know, within food and and food and beer are so closely related. Speaking of drinking beer, I was anxious to get tasting. Wildcard has some hoppy brews, but we started with something a little on the lighter side. Cali Love is um, a beer that kind of came out of um, our want for something that uh, was light and easy for the summer, uh, but still had some hop aroma. This one has a lot of citra, which gives it just this nice, really like grapefruit aroma and some wackatoo which has along the lines of like a more lime uh, lime zest sort of thing. It's kind of like a patio beer or if you're you know having a barbecue. A little stronger on the scale, Saved by the Dunk is a German styled red ale that you don't see often in Canada. To make their Ace of Diamonds Saison, Nate visited a local farm to source some flavor from the region. It's definitely a learning curve, especially when you're using ingredients that you didn't know existed. I love that you, you, you source locally. It's great to have the support of local people and, and we, we expect that ourselves to, to again support those people back. The beer I was most curious about was Notoriously Juicy, a New England pale ale with an orange juicy taste. Hazy beers are becoming more popular in the craft beer world lately, and Notoriously Juicy hits that mark perfectly. It's funny, a lot of people say it's the, the growth of this beer is because of social media. Um, it looks weird, it looks like orange juice, and people think, you know, it's, it's an Instagram perfect beer. It's a breakfast beer. <laughs> <laughs> There's very little orange puree in this beer, like it's, mm -hmm. it's something we throw in to really bump it out. The longer you boil, the hops, the, the more bitterness you're gonna get from them. Um, so the, the way that you avoid that is, is just adding them later in the process. We try and bring across that, that sort of depth to the, to the beers so that uh, not only is it something that's, that's drinkable for the, the mass market, but it's also sort of a, a beer that people can really delve into and, and find little nuances that, that we've tried to, tried to bring across. I think we started something, gonna tell the world again. Oh, you're so beautiful, I just can't hold it in. In two short years, wildcard brewing has become a popular part of Quinney West's community. One thing is clear, people in this region love wildcard beer. You can find their beer on tap and bottles in restaurants and pubs throughout the region. Wildcard supports small businesses in the region, and in turn, they support wildcard brewing. It's a strategy that has helped everyone succeed. People always say like small business is the backbone of, of a community or, or of the economy, which uh, you know we, we take to heart because it is it is small business. It's uh, you know you come in and you meet my brother or myself or or my mom and my dad. You know they're they're the ones that are standing behind the counter here. So it's a, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you make beer, so that's, yeah. it's even better. <laughs> people, yeah, people are always happy coming in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're never uh, you're never gonna have a bad time at a brewery. Mm -hmm. Is uh, is my stance. So beautiful. So let me.